And here's the Cyclonus that I just recently added to my collection. That, of course, is the X Transbots Elegos. And he is huge, but he's beautiful. Um, I really like this one. He's uh, pretty great. He's got die cast feet and uh, some die cast pieces to hold this backpack on here. Um, I do not like these KFC hands that he, they have. But uh, yeah, he's great. Looks like he just jumped right out of the movie. A couple of things to highlight. He's got these this sort of hidden elbow thing here, which is nice, I guess. And uh, what I really like is he's got this cockpit for uh, jet mode. Well, I oh, can't see it. It looks like this. You can put the little uh, comes with a little Galvatron figure that goes in there, so you can reenact that scene from the movie where he's shaking his fist. I love it. Uh, it comes with this little gun. He has either light piped eyes or these nice chrome red eyes, which I put in. And he has two faces that are the same, except for one has that painted uh, uh, little Van Dyke beard. And the other one does not. I do a bigger review on this guy, but um, I got mine kind of late. I mean, I had him pre-ordered, but... Uh, uh, you know, other people get sort of re review copies ahead of time, so by the time I've got this up, uh, you'll have probably already seen it. So, just a quick once-over. Um, color's great. Uh, I put a uh, clear-backed Decepticon symbol on here, but you can't really see it because it's the same color. Uh, I may substitute that with a different one. He also comes with a big sword, which I guess is uh, because he has one in the IDW comics. Comes with his rust rifle. And uh, the Target Master that I showed earlier. Um, and like I said, he is a big boy. He's a big fella. Um, just for comparison, the other one I just got in my collection is the Yes Model Thrust. So he just, he towers over the Seekers. There's some other figures just to see the size of him. That's not too bad, because you can actually display him with the G1 Galvatron. Uh, Cyclonus should be a little bit bigger than Galvatron, so that actually works out. Now, having said that, uh, we Transformers fans are no strangers to scale problems. G1 Galvatron and G1 Hot Rod there. Right, good illustration now. now, I'm not too picky about that. Um, I am complaining about the last few Transformers I got that are this size, because they're just so big, I'm running out of room to display them. Um, Cyclonus is about the same size as Ultra Magnus, the Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. And it just seems to be creeping bigger and bigger. So I'm tempted to just go to a smaller size because I'm running out of shelf space. So I hope they don't get any bigger than that. Other than that though, it's, uh, it's a really great figure. It, the transformation's a bit fiddly. X Transbots is becoming synonymous to me with lots of little panels. There's a lot of little panels in the knee section here. Other than that, he's one of the relatively easier ones to transform from X Transbots. He's not as bad as a Polyon. You know, I, it depends what you want in your collection. I mean, they're great for just displaying in robot mode or even alt mode. The alt mode, both modes are great for all of the ones that they've made so far, I think. Uh, it's just that they have a lot of thin plastic that are attached by screws. It's better when they're attached by pins or little rivets. I think sometimes the screws are a bit, uh, it's, it's easy to stress the parts and feel like you're going to break them. So you just have to be careful when you're transforming it. But um, it's a shame because I would have wanted to transform Cyclonus more often because he's got that amazing cockpit. But uh, otherwise, pretty great. I do recommend it. So once again, thanks for watching and thanks for watching.